This is the year of the clients and accelerating a better working South Africa. What does that mean? Well, to further unpack that, we are joined by Posha Mohale, who is our HR executive at Sunnam Corporate. Posha, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Oli. It's an exciting thing to talk about. Yes, mm -hmm. so we've been talking about year of the client, year of the client. What does that mean for us at Sunnam? It's really about making a difference to our members. I think what we know is that our business is about being there for our people and members in some of the most difficult times that they go through. And the year of the client is really about making the process easy for them. Um, the ability for them to do business with us, whether that's as, a, as an employer or as a member on the ground, the person whose family we are trying to keep safe. I think it's very important that we make it easy for them to be able to interact with us, to ask questions, to find information. And when that time comes, where whether they need to claim from us or whatever the case may be, that we make that process as, as seamless as possible and um, and we make the most imp uh, difficult time of their lives a lot easier and they feel taken care of. I love that, mm. feeling taken care of, walking the journey with the client, but most importantly, making the process easy. Easy, easy to work yes. with us, yes. right? Yes, easy to work with us. Yeah. I love that. So, like, what are some of the key points that clients can look forward to mm. uh, at our benchmark this year? So, I mean, you know, the research that we've done around benchmark is really about being understanding where our clients are at. Mm. I mean, the truth is, you know this, We, mm. you cannot drive a change with somebody when you don't know where they are. Oh, yeah. So you have to meet them where they are. And it's really about understanding what is top of mind for our customers. Mm. Um, what are they battling with right now? What are the things that are keeping them awake at night so that we can try and make it a lot easier? And and if you if you look at the research when it talks about you know how important trust is oh, yeah. um, in institutional organizations like ourselves, so that clients are willing to put their money with us and that we will then do our best from an integrity perspective to take care of it and to also make that process a lot easier for them when they need our help. I think the, the research is also showing that a lot of South Africans are really worried about work, right? Mm -hmm. We saw a lot of young people who are thinking, I'm going into the working world. Um, I'm not even thinking about retirement. I'm just thinking, will I be able to find a job? And once I find that job, will I get to a point where I'm financially secure? And that's an important factor as well. And so when we think about how we want to make everything better for, for the working South African is that we want to look after their assets, um, help them be able to retire better, but also help them be able to take care of their families while they yeah. work as well. Yeah. So it, I think the, the whole concept around the research, but also the solutions that Sunlam Corporate wow. offers is really about taking care of, of our people. Yeah. I love that. I love that. And trust is important. It's very sure. important. It's yeah. important because, you know, sometimes we can put forward what we think is important, but understanding the client, what's top of mind, all the things that you shared mm -hmm. is really important at, at the core and ensuring that the values yes. are aligning. At aligning. And also, how do you create a solution when you don't understand what the needs are? Oh, yeah. And really, the whole premise of this is for us to really understand where the need is mm. so that we can not only just craft products, mm. but actual lifestyle solutions that help our clients. I love that. So, I mean, I'm sure you know that my heart and my everything is blue. <laughs> At the core, yes. you know, my heart is blue. <laughs> what do you think is our, you know, selling competitor mm. age, competitive age rather, in terms of our full holistic, you know, client value proposition? I think at the core of that client value proposition is the fact that as a group, as Sunlam, right, we have a range of products and solutions that really cater for every life stage that a person would be in. Mm -hmm. And 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 the ability to then integrate those to, you know, when you're born to when you get married or you're going off to university, mm -hmm. are we able to offer you solutions that really talk to each of the life stages that you're in? And and so I think the ability to integrate some of what we do from a corporate perspective, which looks at your working life mm -hmm. with um, some of our other products that look at your day-to-day um, considerations of, around financial confidence and financial wealth is really is, is really a value-adding service that we, we bring as, as Sunlam. 
I like that, and I almost mm. forgot. Since Pacha, what is financial inclusion? What does it mean to you? Sure. Uh, I mean, le let me start here. For, mm. As somebody who comes from an environment, you know, where I grew up, where a lot of people are not financially, um, uh, don't have the capability for financial soundness. Financial inclusion for me is about taking, providing solutions that actually cater to people's needs, oh, yeah. right? And also take into account their demographic needs, mm -hmm. take into account their cultural needs, and also just take into account where they are financially. Um, if you look at some of the research that talks about not just people going into the workforce, but that the majority of South Africans are not earning exorbitant amount of money every mm. month. And inclusion is about are we able at every stage of their life and every level that they are from a financial um, confidence perspective able to provide some solutions that really help them. Mm. Because at the end of the day, everybody deserves to feel financially secure. And inclusion is really that. Can we provide solutions that make everybody, mm. irrespective of who, of who they are, feel financially I secure? I love that. Lastly, Portia, what, what would you say is an important role that we as service providers can play in terms of assisting our members to become financially confident? Sure. This is something that's very close to my heart. I mean, we were just talking outside about two parts and, mm. and, and just the, the fact that we, we are doing all of this work as an industry to prepare for this change in legislation and what it means. But at the core of it is our members, right? It's yeah. somebody who's been saving for years, who's been working for 30 years, who's been working for 10 years, who probably does not have the same level of financial education yeah. that we, we want them to have so that they can make these really big decisions that have an impact on their future and that of their children, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's something that we are, which is almost like something that we have to do is we have to take financial literacy and financial education and make sure that people actually understand what we are trying to teach them. And make it practical, right? Make it practical to, um, you are looking at savings, this is what it means for you, this is how you can do it. What does two-pot mean for you, yeah. right? What does it mean for a minor who is part of, of one of our funds, right? What, what would be the day-to-day -day impact on him, on his ability to retire one day, on his ability to make sure his children can go to school? And so I think that we have, um, we have an obligation to bring that financial literacy oh, yeah. and make it accessible but actually understandable um, mm. and actually use real life examples so people can really understand the impact of some of the decisions that they're making on their financial future and that of their family. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Ms. Potion. I think we can all learn from what you shared around, you know, at, at Sunlam, mm. at the end of the day, at the core of who we are, yes. it's all about our members, understanding who they are, walking yeah. their journey yeah. and offering solutions mm. with ease yes. to our members. Yes. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Through. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Posha Mohale, our Human Resources Executive at Sunlam Corporate.